Hello and welcome to an RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're back in Soul Mask. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a build showcase. I got like, uh, after the episode where I got like a little bit angry, a little bit upset. Um, we started to do a bit of a bigger build. So in uh, yesterday's video, I actually started working on a giant fortress, the ice fortress. And then I was like, you know what? I want to build something completely creative uh, out of Blackstone to see what came out of. And I didn't really have a plan when I went in. I knew that I wanted to kind of make something that would kind of be pyramid-like. And it ended up with this mechanical-looking pyramid where it's got sections that are inside and outside. And it's got, like, armor pieces. And we did a few things on the outside, like uh, over here. We have the uh, half-slope walls to extend the stairs a little bit to make it kind of look like feet. I, I really like the way this these bits actually came out. And these little touches are the things that are some of the best parts of when you do builds in a more creative mode, creative freedom. Where you're not actually building to be able to fit everything. And although, in the end, I managed to fit every crafting station for the end game in here. This guy's running around. I actually had to go get him real quick to start filling in the, uh, the lanterns, the oil lanterns around the base. Um, we still have got the ice place and I... But I really did like the way this one turned out. Let me know down below how what you think of how this actually looks from the outside. Like, I love it. I, I actually love it. Well, if you come up on the side over here. Like, we have a kind of section where these legs that are just a little bit outside. I, I have a second floor that I built on pillars on the inside, which we'll be able to check out in a second. And I put a wall, like a, a floor piece, out from that. And it went through the roof ramp. So it actually went through the roof ramp. You can do that. Then I put it so it gives it kind of a step out look with the stairs going down and that gave it kind of more of a 3D look and this is kind of why I kind of called it the uh, mechanical version like a mechanical pyramid because like when you, I put this I decided like I just had it over here and I couldn't fit the floor on the inside which I'll show in a second I couldn't fit that to go with the rest of the pyramid otherwise it would just look, literally look like just a straight up like pyramid shape with no indents and no features and stuff like that so i start this little bit of floor uh this uh corner roof section in the corner over here and i think it actually looks really bloody good like i really love the way this one actually came out with that i did stick a couple of saber tooth statues on there because they are the best looking ones in my opinion big cats can't go wrong and on the top over here we actually put in now this was more difficult because you can't put these corner roofs on top of pillars the corner roof pieces let's just jump up there real quick you can't just put them on there. So what you need to actually do is put the pillars down. Then you need to put one wall. Then you can put the four ceilings off of that one wall. And once you do that, you can put the corner roof pieces on top of those ceilings and then delete the wall and it stays there. Now, I probably should have done it a little bit higher uh, so the fire actually fit into it. But I kind of wanted it to have a sort of fire glowing look from the outside. At nighttime, it looks really good with all of the oil lanterns and stuff around. And on the back side over here, we actually set up our electrical, uh, the wind turbines, the uh, windmills, sorry. And we have these set up and I've got a rope system inside that I'll show you how I put together to allow all of the crafting stations to have it in there. And on the corners down here, just to give it like, a, just to edge off the corners a little bit, instead of having ramps going down, because we did go up, this whole section, this whole floor is 16 by 16. So when we, I put it in three across, so three diagonal pieces, and then I put the base of the pyramid, which I just started off with walls going all the way around. And then we started off with the first set of rows, and I did the stairs up to the main bit as an indent one little bit further in. So when we got the uh, walls on the inside, uh, which I'll show you when we get to the inside of the base, um, it's actually instepped a little bit with the stairs coming down from there. So it comes halfway across one of these sections here. So I did put stairs on the corner out here just to give it a textured look on the corners. I didn't know whether I wanted to put walls in here or not. I think I just left it like that uh, because I think it looked a little too squared off. We do have our crafting stations outside here as well. We have the wood ones because why would you do wood and farming and stuff on the inside? So we did set up the two farms because I love my symmetry and everything. Like I have to have it, which is why we got the two statues of the saber tooth up there. And we have our tanning and our chopping block on the outside. And a couple of steel chests. This is a PvE build only. There's nothing PvP about this. This will not work in PvP. People will just walk up inside your base. So it's uh, it's definitely more on the PvE side of things. And it won't do too good against um, uh, invasions and stuff. Because they will just be able to run up and then drop inside. 
Uh, but if you don't have invasions on, this is this is strictly just a build for aesthetic, and I just I just really like the way it turned out. So let's head on the inside over here. And on the inside, we have two sets of stairs going up. We place the portal down first. If you do the stairs first, uh, in this way, the portal won't fit in. But if you put the portal down, uh, you can put buildings around the portal. So it comes and goes across and up the stairs, but it won't fit in there any other way. And we do have a couple of steel chests there just to have stuff that we're ready. Like maybe you've got armor and weapons there before you teleport out. And we have all of our crafting stations set up around this whole area. We fit every single one in here. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we fit every single station that we need all the way around. And they can get access to this. It looks like they won't be able to, but they can. And that is the weapon forward, the craftsman's bench, the armor forging, etc. And the uncrafting benches. And then we have our electrical section. So the powered ones over here. What we did, because I have it up here, I put one of these power construction rods. I put one of these rods down on the side here so it can be actually straight down. And then I put rods in sections every two foundations all the way through the back. And also did it all the way through the back and fitting behind these actual steel boxes. So it goes round and around all the way around the edges over here. You can see it better on this side. And then had it attached to the second windmill. So we got two windmills on the same system. So we can have all of these crafting stations. We got the powered furnace and the grinder and the blackstone bar maker. Uh, we got all of these and they can all be powered by the two windmills at the same time by adding them both into the same system. So it's a, like, a really nice way of getting that done. And it kind of makes it look... It makes it look better as well when you have all of these things all powered up. They are really fucking noisy, but it is what it is. So what we have on the second floor of this little bit over here, we could go upstairs and this is just a kind of like our storage section. We just, we couldn't really, you can fit stuff in here, but I didn't really do it in the end because we just had a couple of steel storage boxes up here that we can use for our own personal stuff. It's kind of like a treasure room. Now there isn't really kind of an RP section to this. This is a little build. I mean, it 16 by 16, but it's a little build on the inside and I went more for looks and I do love the look of the Blackstone. Like the Blackstone pieces do look really cool. And we do have these oil lanterns around all over the place. They're usually a light and it does light this up a lot more. And uh, the flames sort of flicker off the Blackstone, which looks really nice. And I really, really like the way this turned out. So on this middle section here, we do have this on the base 16 by 16. So I did the stairs that go all the way around just to make this little bit lowered so we can have some more space. Now, what you could actually do is have this go down into the basement because we are two, two and a half pieces down from the floor. So we have one wall and then a half piece going all the way around. So you can actually go into a lower level floor and you could open this up a little bit more and we could have gone down a little bit lower, but I love having the kind of elevated sections within the base. So it kind of gives it a better feel. Like I, I feel it looks better when there's different sections like that. And I think it just really turned out pretty damn well. We could put walls in here and wall it off and have it more like the interior of a pyramid. Put some doors in. Uh, you could close these sections off. Like put some half walls around. Uh, we could put some a ceiling there, a ceiling there and put half walls. And it still is sectioned off. So they can't get inside of these places here. If you wanted to have it in more of a PV, like a PVE or... P I wouldn't do this in PvP to be honest. Like I would, there, there's definitely better builds you can do in PvP in general. PvP builds don't tend to look good because they need to be function over aesthetic, which is always the case for a lot of the uh, builds that you need to do in PvP. But yeah, that's what I did. I just literally went in without a plan and just decided to uh, do this li this little build. I really like the way it turned out. There are like, let me know down below what you think of this uh, the mechanical pyramid build. It almost feels like it can move. Like it feels like it can move into different sections and transform into different shapes and stuff, which is the kind of look I was going for in the end. I was just going to go for a standard pyramid and then bits fell in place. And uh, if you if you do like this kind of video and you want to see me just do the whole process of starting out with a with a base foundation and then building up and then seeing what happens, then let me know down below because I can do videos like that. I think I'd actually enjoy doing some videos like that. Uh, if it's something that you'd like to see, let me know down below. I really hope you liked the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you for watching. Remember to like and sub for all your survival game of goodness. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.
love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror